This lightning talk is titled Because. The longer version of that would be because Damien said he'd use it. And really, could I resist the chance to say well volunteered to Damien? No. So, um, Devil Declare. Devil Declare is, is, is something of a scary piece of magic. Um, even after Raffle rewrote it twice to get rid of my C code because, oh my god, I'm bad at C. Um, so, Devil Declare is what powers um, most of the um, keyword build out on CPAN that's not using the nice stuff that um, has been implemented in 5.12 and 5.14. Um, it, it, its primary purpose, to be entirely honest, was to embarrass people with um, core commit bits who knew what they were doing into writing something better. And happily, Zephram has done so. But for those of us still supporting all the pearls, um, it's, it's the usual way of doing things. So it, it lets you pass things like method foo and you know, powers moosex declare, method signatures, um, which method signatures was originally one of my tests shipped to CPAM, um, then Schwern happened to it. Um, there's now method signatures simple that actually works the same way the original did. Um, Malka's written um, function signatures, I think it's called, yes. uh, which is a rather better implementation. Various others. Um, so the, the original version of Double Declare um, trapped subcalls to the subroutine of the name of the keyword being passed. So like a call to method. Um, you had this problem though. Method main screwed you. Because main already exists as a package name. As a result of which, Perl goes, the package exists, I'm not going to check for a subroutine, I'm going to pass this as indirect object syntax. So it passes as that. At which point I don't get my call back and you're screwed. S uh, a similar problem happens with method strict or really any other pragma name that might be loaded. Um, <coughs> so this was kind of a problem. So we, we went hunting for another approach. Uh, the current version uses a different way of doing it um, and traps the construction of a const sv op containing the string method um, and then has to do a bunch of messing around in case you have a string that contains just that or whatever um, to make sure it's at the right stage of the parsing um, which makes the code horribly more complicated and um, actually slightly more evil than it was already um, so it does work though so that's great but uh, yeah I mean it, 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 it's even this thing originally shipped with a file in it that's called stolen chunk of toke.c <laughs> and yet this grosses me out more um, and it's excess obviously uh, which is all very well but I re I've gone on this sort of pure pearl kick recently because that lets me ship things over the wire and do all sorts of other things and the API is horrible because the API is based around what access we can manage to get into the guts of the compiler while it's running. So there's a lot of things you can't do because if you move a pointer, the compiler's still got a pointer to the original version and you just segfault. Um, and while writing C that segfaults is about the only area of C that I'm good at, um, it's not amazingly useful. Uh, so why, why is Devil Declare better than a source filter? Simple. Devil Declare is token sensitive. Devil Declare actually cooperates with the tokenizer um, so that it only, it only sees it when it sees a method keyword when it's actually supposed to. It doesn't accidentally grab things in pop. Um, that's seriously four minutes. When did you, oh, bloody hell, right. Um, so, <laughs> so not see, went and had a look inside that and discovered that you have, um, when, it's, when it's actually parsing it, it creates a new glob op. And that takes a reference, so what we can do is, we can use B to get at the glob ref and pull the ref count out of it. Having pulled the ref count out of it, we can now use filter util call and check to see if there's actually a method keyword. Just return the chunk with the method, let the parser handle that, but a filter's called until it's returned a line. So you have a slight problem here, now the way to get around this is you return zero and pretend that you end a file, but that uninstalls the filter. So what you have to do is reinstall yourself and then return zero. Having done that, you can then um, strip around with the line and now you're doing it in pure Perl rather than in C and it becomes much cleaner. Um, and that gives you method foo and that's fine. Uh, you can just pass it through to that and that works. But what about method main? This is still a problem, but 
you can do sub-method star, at which point it's a glob prototype. Bare words are allowed for that, and it parses. And here's some code that I don't have time to explain. And then uh, it actually works. Keywords in pure Perl. So fuck devil declare. Please port p5mop off it because it sucks like a bastard. And now we can write a muex declare just to really upset Stephen. And it isn't on CPAN yet, but don't do anything Damien wouldn't do.